Chai, chai, chai. This is so emotional. As the only man who truly cares for Queen Naomi in her father's house, Queen Naomi's uncle takes a bow as he surrenders and succumbs to pressure coming from all sides of the online in-laws as they drag him to and fro for supporting that Queen Naomi will leave marriage. Despite being a priest and a reverend and a man of God, they attacked him for uh, uh, advising a woman to leave her husband amidst uh, quarrel and tribulations. Hmm. My correct, correct people, now the matter where they reach our table, eh? they say when Naomi got so emotional as her uncle announced that he has hands off bata bata from anything that consigns Queen Naomi and KBAC. They said, but before he did that, he already dropped uh, a warning note for Queen Naomi as he tells Queen Naomi that he is not going to come out to support anything. If anything should come out of she and Kabi is his marriage anymore. Though he said he is not praying that anything should be wrong with them anymore, that he's only praying now for them to realize their mistakes and uh, forgive each other and come back together, reconcile and continue the work that God has sent them to the world to do. But if in case anything should come out from it that he is not going to be accountable for it, He's not even going to uh, do anything about it. He's not going to step in, in other words. So, you see, now, KBAC is so happy, at least, to hear this from this man, according to what we are hearing, that, oh, he, he thanked him for his, uh, his support. He thanked him for... He acknowledged also that the reason that he knew, that KBAC acknowledged that him, KBAC, knew that the reason why uh, he is doing all those things was just because um, of uh, the love he has for Queen Naomi and because he wishes Queen Naomi so well that that is why he's trying to protect her. So that f uh, 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 so long so far that KBAC really understand what he is doing. It's not as if he's, uh, he doesn't know what he's doing or that he just wants to uh, a, a wicked queen Naomi that he's only trying to protect. So KBAC gave him votes of thanks uh, that he's, he then assured him that such a thing would never happen. That is, if she and him and queen Naomi ever reconcile, that such a thing would never ever happen again, that he is giving him his word. Well, when I heard this, I say, is it not KBAC? KBAC and giving word is like five and six. And if all this information we are hearing about him is true, then you know that that is his lifestyle. Then he's a man that who doesn't keep to his promise, who doesn't keep to his word. In other words, a man who talks anyhow without guiding what he said, you know. So, KBAC said in law, that is Quinomi's uncle, went sober. Like he said, he never expected that he would go back to. Australia without achieving what he came to do and wishes to make sure that Queen Naomi leaves such a toxic marriage. That in his word he said that man proposes, God disposes. Yes, that God knows the best why he would continue to allow Queen Naomi and uh, KBAC to, to continue this journey of this union of marriage. So they said the man was uh, almost uh, sober, like seeing himself going back to Australia just like that without achieving what he came to do. Like, uh, because we know the energy that he came in with that period. Ah, he was gingering over, he almost said over his Bible body, but because he's a pastor, it's not everything that pastors say. He didn't say over his past, he's over his Bible body. He said that all you know is that as far as he's in Nigeria, that he's going to achieve separating Queen Naomi from KBAC. Mama. 
before going back you know so you see now he didn't know how tough it was going to be he didn't he doesn't know the kind of bond when naomi and kabi is share you know that was why he thought it was easy or it would be easy for him to come back to nigeria and just achieve that achieve the separation like the kind of energy that he came with that period hey my people if you hear what happened that time people some people do not follow that trend that is why when the stories are coming on some people will come and say ah it is not true it's like this one and this one hmm, my people you never see the kind of energy that this man entered nigeria with even as far as coming with some lawyers from there coming with his wife oh this man must have really spent a lot of money in this case and i know he must have assured Kwenomi that ah she should not worry that provided that he's involved right now that the case must settle not knowing that the way where you see him no be the way where you take b oh my people no be the way where you take b the way where you talk, think something feel no go like that you understand so that is why sometimes you just know that setting something some uncertainties you, you get so this man now we heard uh, as he was giving that speech he was almost get, go getting to tears because he, he now understand that it is not any marriage that you can just easily come and put us under. Yes, it is not every marriage that is easy to break. So marriage, they have too much bond in that, that no matter what is happening, they are inseparable, they are unbreakable. No matter how many people that come to put mouth, both of them might still be in love, even though they might be apart, fighting each other from apart, but they might be in love. Yeah, everybody has their reasons why they just don't want to continue. So and such a marriage you cannot easily break it. So he might has tried his best to try to see that the marriage is broken so that when Naomi can just give and make another family as she's still young. But then it didn't work it didn't work for her like that. It didn't work for her that way. Yes, it didn't work for her that way. So now um when Naomi uh, moved was moved to tears also because she she knew how this man has tried as far as coming back from australia as far as getting lawyers as far as you know a threat even threatening can be that lie lie to lie like that quinomi might will not come back today that this quinomi now belongs to the family back that they should the next time he will see quinomi is for quinomi for them to return bribe, uh, quinomi's bribe price that is all what they said the uncle boosted to kbsc <laughs> That the next time they would be seeing Quenomi is for them to return uh, KBC's bribe, uh, Quenomi's <coughs> bribe prize. You see, so he don't make all those smart finish, and finally he did not still achieve the aim that brought him to Nigeria. So is it not enough for somebody to cry? Is it not enough for somebody to sober? Is it not enough for somebody to feel bad that all his efforts, money, resources, energy were just wasted, and he did not achieve the his main aim of coming back to nigeria which of which there might be other aims anyway yeah because people in the sport you can't just tell me they will just uh, tear ticket and be coming back just because of one reason before they could come back more and more things must have uh, must have uh, compiled that they will not say okay let them use uh, one stone and kill six beds you know so he's now seeing himself like a failure that he he was able to start something and did not finish it you know so my people i don't know how true this information is but that is what i am hearing please kindly subscribe to this channel do not forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget that all these are alleged information i will be right back